Hey guys, Bobo Bricks here with another video after a very, very long time. I'm really sorry for the lack of being active. I have kind of transitioned more to Instagram lately with some really um, mini figure shots. I'm pretty proud of custom mini figs I've been working on. That's been a probably transition for the better recently as I'm in my senior year of high school at the moment. College is on the horizon. So there's just a lot more important things that I have to dedicate my attention to at the moment. So I haven't been doing as much of stuff like this video style uploads to YouTube. I would like to eventually when I get to a more stable point in life. Um, but at the moment, that's just not really too much of a possibility. So if you are watching this and you do want to see more from me, definitely check out the Instagram. You can see a lot of cool shots and I want to get to be more regularly posting on there as well so and hopefully maybe if this video blows up i would be super super surprised if we can even get maybe 50 views on this just because of how inactive i've been but if we can maybe i'll get a little bit of motivation and be able to carve out some time to do some more of this stuff so if you do enjoy give a thumbs up everything like that you know the drill but basically what brings me here today to make another video isn't the new helmet isn't all of this it's boom builds imperial march giveaway now if you haven't heard of this it's basically boone he was on lego masters he's doing this really awesome giveaway with some great prizes where basically you build a star wars mock like what i have here and make a video or some pictures upload to instagram Flickr, facebook or youtube and you can win these awesome prizes at the end of the month which it's march it's i believe march 27th so there's really only two or three more days to enter if you're interested, definitely hurry and get on in that. So anyway, what I have for you today is a Rise of Skywalker Palpatine's throne room mock with Rey battling Palpatine in the climax of that movie. Not the biggest fan of the film, but the throne was really impressive and seeing Colin Trevorrow's artwork come to life was really cool to see. So I wanted to build a mock of that. So without further ado, let's get into this. So now here we have it, my mock of Palpatine's throne from The Rise of Skywalker. So starting off in the front, we do have this kind of cliffside look with a mixture of cheese slopes as well as jagged out slanted pieces that does continue up here as well as to the side, which is reminiscent of the cliff that Palpatine forces Ben Solo or Kylo Ren off of and he tumbles down. So that's what that was made in with in mind. And you'll see later with the play feature that we have up here, what I was really going for. And as we go up, you can see there's some tile stone pieces that just go up, adding a different layer to the set. And as you can see, the ground and everything with this is relatively simplistic. I really built this in mind of if LEGO were to make an actual set of Palpatine's throne room from Rise of Skywalker, what would it look like? And I've, as you can see with the sizing and shape and everything with this, is inspired by the Death Star Final Duel set as well as Snoke's throne room. So that was definitely in my mind when I made this. I wanted to create something that if LEGO were to make a set, it would look somewhat like this. So then there's the tile pieces. Then we do have our first play feature here, which let me go and see if I can take this out to show you how it works. So that came out pretty well. Um, what we have in here is this bit right here. I'm not sure what the technical term is, but it's in here with a Technic pin that then allows it to move side by side. And then when we push this lever down, the inner part goes up, which then when we put this stone bit back in there, as you can see, when you push this, that part goes back. You put a figure on there on top of this, as well as the um, cheese, the two by one cheese slope, which allows it to actually move up and down where a regular brick wouldn't. And the figure can go flying back. So rather than using Ray or Ben, if you didn't know this kind of play feature, although being pretty common in Lego sets, I don't know about this particular design, but I know a lot of times there will be like a plank or something like that where you push down, the figure goes flying. So it is known for cracking figure legs, and I don't want to crack my one and only Ray from Rise of Skywalker. So we're just going to use default Lego guy here. And when we flick this lever, he goes flying right on off the cliff, just like in the movie. So I'm really happy with how that play feature turned out. And just, I would say how seamlessly I was able to blend in with the rest of the build. So as we move up, you can see there's just some more stone patterning. 
And then we have, of course, Palpatine's crane that he hangs on for most of the movie. So you may look at this and be like, oh man, you have that awesome throne from Colin Trevorrow's artwork and everything like that. And then you have this crane just hanging there, ruining the aesthetic. And I would agree with you there. It does definitely take away from a lot and make the throne, it, it just kind of ruins a lot of the look and the, I would say, a build that I'm pretty proud of with the throne. So I did actually create a remedy for that where this folds back and away, and you don't have to see anymore. You can just see the throne. You really only see if you're looking at it from the side and everything like that. So you can just look at the throne and have that. And it, 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 I would say it looks pretty good. Like I said, I made it. It would be a little sad if I didn't think it looked pretty good, but I'm pretty happy with it. And I did use some interesting building techniques, but before we get into that, let's talk a little bit more about the crane. So as you can see there, it folds back up like that. We do have this bit up here, which then when you move it, it moves it side to side all the way around. So you can get a good bit of articulation with that. This moves, this moves. And basically, there's so many hinges on here. I'm not going to go into all of them, but you can basically put Palpatine anywhere within the proximity of anywhere there. And that that's a pretty nice thing, I would say, for especially if you're going to be playing with this. You can actually move him around and not just have him posed in one position. But then we have him shooting in his lightning at Ray, just like in the movie, that Ray's going to then deflect back on him and burn him away. So do have that bit. And now let's actually go into the actual throne. So I'll fold that on back. And then what we have here is these bigger bits, which are hooked on by two jumper plates that allow it to actually be at this angle that you can see. As I really didn't want to just do um, parts that are coming out from the sides and whatnot. I felt like that would be a little bit boring and it would just be very linear if that makes sense. So I want to do that as well as what you can see here with the ground. I actually used um, the spinny pieces. I'm not sure what by their, what they're called, but the two by two tiles that have the spinny bit in there that you can use to spin stuff around or in this case angle this so that it is in a not natural position, but so that you can get this angle and then get the triangular jagged stairs that are going up to the actual throne so i'm pretty happy with that how that turned out and it does allow this right here with the um jagged pieces to come out at more of an angle as well as those so you can see that and then we do have these bits that are just on hinges that angle up and give the other spikes that are coming out of the throne as well as up here nothing too crazy we have the spike there everything there then we have the actual throne. So let's go and move Ray off the way and take Palpatine off of his crane. And you can get a look at how he looks sitting on his majestic throne before we close out this video. And he probably won't fit too well on there because he has a neck brace on currently that attaches him to the crane. But we'll try to get him in there. Um, okay, let's give it another go. There we go, we got him. So you get the idea, you can put him on the throne, have the whole um, play bit of Ray and Ben walking up and whatnot. So that's basically it. So without further ado, let's close out this video. So then there you have it. This has been my entry to Boon Build's Imperial March giveaway. Like I mentioned earlier, if you are interested at all, definitely make sure to get in on this. It's a great opportunity for LEGO builders to create something and do something new as well as possibly win a great prize so definitely jump in on that the deadline is march 31st 2021 which is coming up really really soon as of uploading this video um i found out about this a little bit later so i'm then rushing to go and get everything put together so definitely do that if you enjoyed make sure to like subscribe and everything like that if you haven't been able to tell from the past five or six minutes of me rambling on and whatnot i'm pretty happy with how this turned out and I hope that you guys have enjoyed and gotten something from this, like some level of creativity or inspiration to pull out your bricks and do something new. And other than that, I think that's pretty much it. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.